All right, I've got this uh, rigged up here. I haven't put any of the boot, uh, bearings in the hub yet, so everything's kind of just sitting on there for eyeballing sake. And on this bracket, I just started the bolt, so I've got it pushed back all the way. Just because I wanted to get an idea of what maybe this would look like. So this mounts right about in there. That's roughly. If I can get my hand out of the way. That's roughly in the right place for that so just doing a little bit of eyeballing I'm still gonna paint these black paint these black and uh, I believe I've decided to just go with some half ton springs to get rid of these I don't have time to mess with cutting and all that other stuff because I've got 250Rs to work on. That's my 250R in a box there. So we'll get something done on it one of these days. Just wanted to show a little bit of progress on the axle. Painted the end of the shafts. Been painting the hubs. And then out here, I've got air drying my brake brackets. So, getting a few things done. It's coming along. Last video, I had these things painted. Now I've got them mounted and just torqued uh, 50 pounds, roughly. And uh, this over here is what I've started putting together. Finally got all my wheel studs and then forgot to bring the uh, last one I needed. I left it in the, another truck. Yeah, I had taken with me to this hardware store just to make sure I had the right uh, wheel studs. But uh, this is basically what the setup is going to be like. Got the Cadillac Eldorado caliper here on the top with the e brake function. There's a lever that bolts on in here. Of course, keep in mind all this is at an angle. These will really be riding more like uh, that but uh, I've already started the washer and the first lock nut I'm gonna have to go and get a uh, special hub nut for that the one I have is for the Dana 44 I don't have a 14 bolt so might as well add it to the collection since I'm putting this on my truck right but uh, it's turned out pretty good. Um, I'm not going to paint this. I'm just going to let it rust. It'll match everything else over here. I, I didn't paint the diff cover or any of this other crap that's going on a truck. I just painted some of the stuff that was going to be in the outerwear. And uh, of course the stuff that came that was completely unfinished was these brackets. But uh, yeah, not too bad. You can see my axle seal, my hub seal there. It went in. I didn't get a video of any of that. I put all my bearings and races and stuff in here, packed them by hand. Got to use my Harbor Freight uh, bearing and seal kit, the driver kit. So uh, that's where I stand right now. I'm literally one uh, wheel stud short of putting it on the other side. Of course, I gotta have that axle nut. I'll probably make a trip to town here shortly 
and swing back by the house and come back over here and uh, finish this bad boy up at least as much as I'm going to do today. Then I've got to figure out brake lines and some other odds and ends before I'll bolt the wheels back on it. So that's that. Keep, uh, stay tuned. Well, here they are on. Don't have those seals for the axles. That was a afterthought. Look pretty good, I think. That's a 14 bolt GM. 14 bolt rear end 373 gears and it's now posi locked and uh, got disc brakes so until next time